Hello, everybody, and welcome to Whistlegraph. Whistlegraph live on YouTube. Now, Whistlegraph live on YouTube is a is a you know it's a show where we do some drawings and pew, a bunch of things like that. So we have a super fast internet connection now, which means all of the laggy problems of yesterday are should be completely gone, and uh, so so things should be. Things should be running very, very smoothly right now. Anyway, my name is Jeffrey, and I'll be your host, and welcome to the show. I've recently uh, created a cup of coffee for myself, as you can see here, and I thought we might begin the show with doing a little bit of psychedelic coffee. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> then we're going to zoom in on this coffee. And you can see on the inside of the coffee, there's this little light. Don't you see that light? Let's turn that light off. So we have the blackness of the coffee. Look who it is. It's our little Lego friend. Our Lego friend is just hanging out on the top of the coffee cup. We could even dip our Lego friend into the coffee cup. <laughs> That's right, right now we're caffeinating our Lego friend. <sighs> How you doing, Lego friend? <sighs> ah! Hey, Lego friend. Yes, Jeffrey. You want to go for a ride? Okay, Jeffrey. All right, Lego friend. Here we go. What's happening to me? Uh, this is crazy, Jeffrey. What's happening to me? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Things are slowing down now. <sighs> Welcome everybody to the Whistlegraph sketchbook. Now, this is uh, the sketchbook in which I keep all of my Whistlegraph pictures. And I thought we might take a little tour through the sketchbook tonight and just uh, see what's up. Let's see what's up. Well, look what we have here on the inside cover of the sketchbook. We have a drawing that we made last night on the stream for all of our different friends. As you can see, let's get a, more, a bit more light on there. <laughs> we got Chris and Ariel and Angie, and Megan, Izzy, Sebastian, Ava, Gina Morton, Stray, Willow, who I see here tonight, Toilet Cat, who's here, Addie is here, Victor, uh, oh, I, I think that's Victoria, Sebastian, yeah, everybody from this this drawing. And, and what else do we have over here? What else do we have? We have these little doodles that I've made on the inside cover. And of course, <coughs> we also have uh, my address if you'd like to send mail. You can send mail here. Ashland, Oregon. And 
here we have this little whistle graph, which is one of my favorites. Would you like to come down the stairs? Do, do. I don't want to because I'm too scared. <laughs> right, that one. Now that one of course that one of course goes like this. Why don't we why don't we take out our little pad here? And let's actually do that one. One of my favorites. <laughs> Zooming in. Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to because I'm too scared. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite whistle graphs. Hey, check this out. Would you like to come down the stairs? <laughs> nice one. So, how are you doing over there? Are you still caffeinated? Ugh, really caffeinated, Jeffrey. Okay, that's good. We'll just like a guy. The caffeinated Lego guy. Can I do the ski one? What's the ski one, Eva? Or the emo one? What's the emo one? Is that the recent one? So here's some other whistle graphs that I have. Hey, I don't think many of you have seen this one here. Who's seen this one? This one's kind of cool, actually. Let's, uh... Let's do this one. It goes a little bit like this. Ready? I miss the nose though, as you can see. So let's uh, let's try that one more time, but let's speed it up this time, okay? You remember that one? What the heck is UP King? Oh, why do I cross out the whistle graphs? I'll explain it in one second. Here we go. That's a cute one. Well, the reason why I cross out a lot of them is because um, when I'm recording them, you know, so the, the reason why this one has a little signature here is because when I was recording it, it was for a video, if that makes sense. And um, <clears throat> when I'm recording them, I have to do a lot of takes of them, you know, like this one, this one that goes like this, like this. A sprout in the grass growing up at last Radiating out like that flower in my garden I love you You know, for example, if we... For example, that one, it's not the best drawing, right? It's not the best drawing there. So I'd, I would record myself doing that and then I'd be like, Oh, it's not as good as, the, uh, as another one. So I would try it again and then I would say... A sprout in the grass growing up at last Radiating out like that flower in my garden I love you And then I would compare them and I would say Oh, which one do I want to use for the final video? You know, And the ones that I don't use, I X out I cross them out And then the ones that I do use, I highlight and then sign And sometimes I'll draw extra ones later on But it's mostly about while I'm recording So I can kind of keep track Well, how many, time, how many takes did I actually do before I got the right one? Just a way to keep progress, if that makes sense. This is one of my, uh, ooh, can I do the butterfly one or the flying one? Yeah, I can definitely do those. Let's see. I'm going to start to do them over here on a separate page. So, the flying one. Yeah. The flying one goes like this. It goes like this. Lately, when I fly, my heart lies low as I get high. After we touch down. Yeah, 
that's one of my favorite ones. That one's got some real emotion in it, I think. And what about the butterfly? I'm a butterfly flapping for you guys. It's just a costume I put on in my room. Whoop! <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, that's a nice little rendition of the butterfly. Let's see, what else do we have? You do the butterfly one when you're at school. That's cool. Can I do the flying one? By the way, how's the, oh, I'll do the well, well, one, well one as well. Let's look at the original for the well, well, well. That's right here. <laughs> That's the original drawing. That's the drawing you see in the video. And you can see those are all the crossed out ones. So when I was recording this one, it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tries until I got, uh, oh wait, eight, nine, ten. It took me ten tries to get the one that I wanted. Oh no, 10, 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so when I was recording the well, well, well one, this one here, I made 15 videos, 15 drawings where I was recording it and then I picked one out of the 15. Isn't that kind of crazy? <laughs> you think I don't really have to do so many takes, but yeah, I, I work really hard on recording them. Yeah. And of course, let's uh, let's show you that one. Mine as well. That one goes like this. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Who is it? Crawling in the corner of the room. Ah. Yeah. That's a nice one, don't you think? You think you asked me to do the well, well, well one every time? You you love and you always do it. Oh, you love it so much. Oh, thank you, Liz D. Yeah, I like that one too. I really like that one. Do, 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 do. What else do we got? Oh, we got this one. The sad one. Oh, it's the sad one. Should we show the sad one? What do you think? <laughs> Can't always do this one. You know what I mean? Can't always do this one. All right, let's see what we got. I'm s oh wait, how's it go again? Can't remember what they looked like, right? So that's going to be the left eye there. Can't remember what they looked like or recall any words that they said. But I set a flower down at the foot of the grave of my friend. Yeah, that's quite a sad one. <laughs> Thanks, lizard geckos. Welcome to the stream. So, by the way, everybody, how is the quality of the stream tonight? I imagine it is very, very good. A million times better than, than last time. That would be my hope, because everything looks perfect tonight. It might even be better than your average YouTube stream, honestly, because I really went, I really did some cool technical things to make it look very good. Because it's important because this is a drawing show, you know, and we want uh, we want our drawings and things to look very good. So what else is in the sketchbook? Lion spots, spirals, zigzag spiral zips. These are from uh, these are from those posts that I made where I was uh, talking about. Welcome to the drawing program. <laughs> Does anybody remember that one? Where I kind of do this thing. I'm like, welcome to the drawing program today or how what did I say oh yeah here we need a little we need a selector hey Lego friend yeah. <laughs> go back in your coffee so this is our like little selector right our little menu selector how old am I I'm 31 years old 31 years old and I am an art professor college art professor I think some of you know that already all right, so 
Welcome to the drawing program. You have selected lions. I can do three lines. Make a new selection. You have selected spots. Make a new selection. You have selected spirals. Wow, nice drawing. Yeah, does anybody remember that thing? <laughs> what college do I teach at? I teach at a college in Oregon, and that college is called, um, it's called Southern Oregon University. You can see it right here. See that? Southern Oregon University in Ashland. Yep, that's where I'm teaching at the moment. Oh, this is the cover art that I made for the Whistlegraph practice track. What's my favorite shape? Um, my favorite shape. I don't really know what my favorite shape is. I guess spiral is. <laughs> spiral is a pretty cool shape. Spooky spiral in a vial that I ordered from the bar. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. Oh, okay. Bye, Ren Ward. Thank you for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Oh, your dad grew up in Oregon and you go to Ashland every summer. Cool. Well, if you come to Ashland in the summer and I'm here, I'll say hi. Or I'll say hi to you and your dad or something. Can I do the robots one? It's been stuck in your head all day. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do the robots. The robots one. Across the way, the robots stay in the same position, bound by a signal. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. So this here was the Whistlegraph practice music. I don't know if anybody, did anybody here listen to this? It's on my YouTube channel actually. And it's also on like Apple Music and Spotify and stuff. I just uploaded it everywhere. But it's a little beat. It's a beat that you can actually do Whistlegraphs too. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, and as a matter of fact, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it on, put it on right now actually. Yeah, you can hear that, right? Yeah, you hear that? You can hear it, my friends. Yep. So this is a, a little sort of regular, very, very regular, almost metronome-like beat. And you can use it to do whistlegraphs, too. And it's called uh, Whistlegraph Practice. And uh, yeah, I put it out so that way if I'm ever using somebody else's phone or something and I want to practice on whistlegraphs, I have this nice nice beat. So should we do some whistle graphs to this? What do you think? Yep, Willow, I do my show every day. What whistle graph should we do? Which one? Should we do some freestyle? Let's do some freestyle. Freestyle whistle graph. Go.
For those of you who are just joining us, this is the Whistlegraph practice track. Where we can use it to practice Whistlegraphs too. It's a nice little beat. A sprout in the grass. Oops. A sprout in the grass. A sprout in the grass. Growing up at last. Growing up at last. Radiating out like that. Flower in my garden. I love you. Yeah, you can use it to practice all your whistle graphs. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does look like a waterfall, doesn't it? It's like a waterfall with someone, or something like that. That's really cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little landscape, isn't it? So yeah, that's the whistle graph practice track. If you haven't listened to it, it's really fun. I mean, I listen to it every day and and stuff like that. Ah, oh, here's a nice little whistle graph. <sighs> this one here. Who knows this one? Who knows this one? This one goes a little bit like this. I'm standing in my room by the window Staring at the sparkles in the sky yeah, that's a nice one. Let's do it one more. Off to the right. I'm standing in my room by the window, staring at the sparkles in the sky. Whoops! Messed up those eyes. I'm standing in my room by the window. Now the eyes. Staring at the sparkles in the sky. And again. I'm standing in my room by the window. Staring at the, <laughs> at the sparkles in the sky. Last one. I'm standing in my room by the window. Staring at the sparkles in the sky. Okay, really the last one, Robert. Really big. I'm standing in my room by the window. <laughs> Staring at the sparkles in the sky. <laughs> ah. that, was a, that was a good one. You can see how it's fun to practice, right? You can really like... When you got the beat going, you can just stick with the beat and then practice a lot of them and even you know honestly I think uh, honestly I think even some of those drawings are really interesting you know like like look at this drawing is actually kind of nice on its own don't you think all these like uh, sparkle the sparkle stairs why don't we actually come in here and uh, why don't we even work on this drawing a little bit I think yeah why don't we actually go and paint this one in that's sort of what I'm thinking <laughs> All right, let's go back to our usual music. All right. Back on track. Let's uh let's add a bit of groundwork to this thing. Ooh, we have a request for the kitty one. Yeah, I'll do the kitty one. Bye Willow. Bye, Runt. Thanks for coming by. We have a little request for the lost kitty one. We'll do that one now. Let's get real close for that. And we'll do it like this. When you go out hiking in the forest, keep your eyes out for my little kitty. Meow. 
<laughs> what a cute one. Ooh, Willow, you're not going to school again tomorrow. Hey, look, the kitty's almost like... This might be the cat of the window guy. Don't you think? Maybe this is a part of a story, you guys. What if a story is like... <coughs> You know, what if we can combine them together? And it's like a story. Something like something like this. I'm standing in my room by the window Staring at the sparkles in the sky When you go out hiking in the forest Keep your eyes out for your little kitty. <laughs> you kind of put them in the same space. You know what I mean? Yeah, the star guy should guide the kitty home. I really like these star guys, though. Let's add a little bit of a let's add a little bit of brushwork to them. I think I'm going to grab my brush pens here. Oh, and don't forget the spiral. <laughs> The drawing, thanks lizard geckos. The one where I drew the person and added uh, added the face and went, and don't forget the spiral. <laughs> Ooh, I should make up a new whistle graph on the show tonight. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I like that idea. <coughs> Let's uh, make these faces yellow. <sighs> you know, I actually came, I actually got a whistle graph from somebody. Somebody on Instagram. They're probably here in the chat right now. They sent me a whistle graph that they made up today. Does anybody want to see that one? I think I have it written down somewhere. If anybody wants to see it. I believe I have it written down. Yes, I do have it written down. So maybe I'll show you all that. Yeah, let's show you that. Let's see here. So it looks like this. Eight in a box, grabbing seven out with a smile on his face. <laughs> That's how it goes. Goes like this. Basically, it's something like <coughs> eight uh, in a box, grab. Grabbing seven, <laughs> grabbing seven up. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a thing there. Eight in a box, grabbing seven out with a smile on his face. <laughs> Something like that. I think it's really good. It's a nice start. Um, but I want to like add. Maybe we should work on this one some more. What should we should we evolve this one? Should we evolve this one and see how we want to? Maybe we should take this one to a next, a new place, you know? Eight in the box, grabbing seven out. Something like that. Yeah, let's take it to a new place, I think. It would be nice to add to it, yeah. Yep, here's my coffee. I'm going to have a sip of that. Let's get into it, I think. Let's get involved. Let's get involved with this, I think. Let's just start doing it a couple times and see. I want to do the eight. I don't want to do like the eight like that. I want to do it like eight, you know. There is an... You can ban it. Yeah, well, I can't. I can't handle hearing my voice either. <laughs> but and I sing the wh whistle graphs, so I'm not a good singer. In a box, there is an eight. In a box, there is a man. In a box there is a... Uh, 
this is where you put the key. <laughs> this is where you put the key to to open up the door to me. <laughs> oh my god, should we do something like that? <laughs> that would be so funny. Ugh, what do you guys think? This is where you put the key. I don't know how to do the key though. To open up the door to me. To do something like, I don't know really how to do these keys. I guess they're like, You know, like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> like, what? I gotta figure out how to draw a key. I was just thinking something like that. You know, we gotta... This is where you put the key to open up the door to me. <laughs> mm, let's see. Let's see. Let's go into x-ray mode. <laughs> we want to x-ray the whistle graph. We want this is where you put the key. This is where you put the key to open. I don't really under, I don't know. <sighs> the keyhole could look like a person in the end. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. <gasps> oh, wow. Toilet cat, that's genius, actually. Willow says, do a circle, then a line, then things on the line like this. <laughs> what do you mean, Willow? That's a beautiful font, though, that you have. Uh, I see what Toilet cat is saying. So Toilet cat is saying, like, this is where you put, here is where you can put the key behind the door. It's just only me. <laughs> uh, that's really weird. <laughs> this is where you put the ugh. Mm, here is where you can nah. this is where you put the key standing in the door it's me <laughs> <laughs> something like that mm. Wait, my name is Willow. That scared you. Oh, we have double Willows here. Yeah, we got two Willows. Willow is a pretty name. I have a friend. I have a really good friend named uh, Willa. But I don't have any friends named Willow. I have a friend named Willa who's a really nice person. Willa Corner. Willa Corner. Corner. That's her name. Mm -hmm. This is where you put the key to my heart this is where you here is where you here is where you here is where you put here is where you can put in the key. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Here is where you can put in the key. Here is where you can put in the key. Here is where you can put in the key. Nice. I like that bendy, that bendy vibes. 
those bendy vibes. Next, we got some whistle graph action happening right now. Here is where you. Here is where you can put in the key. Here is where you can put in the key. Open up the door to me. <laughs> Here is where you can. So weird, this drawing. Here. <laughs> Here is where you can put in the key to open up the door to me. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is a really cute one. Do. Here is where you can put in the key to open up the door to me. <laughs> Ugh. What do you guys think of this? Are we all are we all just chatting about chatting to each other now? What is this? Do I need to start a Discord over here? What's happening? Huh? <laughs> you guys are just you're not even watching the show. That's all right. I know you're watching the show. Now I lost my whistle graph. This is where you can put in the key. Dun dun. Yeah, this is where you can put in the key. Dun dun. Open up the door. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I love this one, you guys. Here is where you can put in the key. Dun. Open up the door. It's me. <laughs> That's so cute, especially with the dun dun, like a two knocks on the door. Open up the door. It's me. <laughs> Here is where you can put in the key. Open up the door. It's me. Something like that, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I should make a TikTok with that. I should make a tick talk with that. I should make a tick talk with that. Yeah. But you know what's really cool is that now uh, now the YouTube uh, live is uh, it saves. So if I develop whistle graphs like making notes or whatever when I'm alive, then all I have to do is basically I'll do something like this. I'll mark the video in time. So I'll do something. I'll do something like this. Three, two, one. So now, all I have to do is go back to my YouTube video and uh, and uh, find the little flashy part and scrub through, and then I'll know exactly where I got the whistle graph that I wanted. So that'll be my reference point, if that makes sense. So I can go back and then I'll keep practicing and re-record this guy. Because you know how YouTube generates those little thumbnails, right? That's the, that way it makes me easy, it makes it easy to find because I'll scrub through and as it generates the thumbnails I'll see those flashies. <laughs> How do I do all these controls? Well, let's let's turn eyes on you for a second. Ready? This is gonna get a little bit crazy, you guys. Here we go. So check it out. Check out what we have over here. There's a laptop screen. And there's even another screen too. There's multiple screens. And it's a little bit hard to see, I suppose. But basically, I have a camera, and behind the camera, there's a. The camera's plugged into a computer, and I have two computers running. One of the computers is only. <sighs> is only really for producing the visuals with my camera. And it's a piece of software that I wrote all by myself. So this software that you're seeing here, the one that can do stuff like this, right? That's some software that I decided to write by myself. And so uh, it's basically web camera software um, that allows me to do fun stuff with the camera. And so I can do things like we can flip it into different modes where we can reverse the image 
Right. There's lots of cool little uh, nifty things we can do. This is my left-handed sketchbook, and so I thought <laughs> thought it might be nice for us to do some. Uh, how long did it take me to write the software? Um, I don't know. I've been working on and off. I used I used it most of last year, and uh, I actually wrote it in just a few days. But it links together a bunch of other programs that I've also written in the past. Yeah, it links together a bunch of other programs that I've also that I've also made. Um, as a matter of fact, I could. I could potentially show you one of those programs. Do you want to see one? A drawing program that I made. We have to enable Flash Player. Let's see if that's actually going to work. There it is. You want to see this? This is the this is the first software program that I ever wrote, and this is called the the Polygon Replicating Bitmap Authoring Tool. This one took me a year to make, and it's a kind of a paint program. Bye, Arc King. See you later. Thanks for coming. It's a kind of a paint program, and uh, you know when you open up Photoshop, you don't usually have to uh, you don't usually have to decide on the shape of your image. But in this software, you have to pick the shape of the picture that you're drawing. So here I made the shape, and now I can hit Tab, and now what you see is you see uh, the shape with the backdrop, and then a menu pops up, and then you can choose. The menu is all empty though because what you have to do is you have to also draw the shapes of your brushes like that. So here's a brush that I made and now the brush is part of this menu and now I can stamp the brush anywhere I want and I can even paint with the brush and so you can build your own brushes like that. And now let's turn that brush off and make a new brush. This one will have maybe this one will have uh, two eyes <sighs> with a face like that. <sighs> right? And then that, we can scale it in and out and use that brush too, right? And so you can really easily build these build these kind of quick drawings. Now this here is a cutout, so I can go ahead and I can cut out a piece and then use that piece somewhere else, like here. If I wanted to flip this piece or mirror this piece, I could just turn around the picture, just like that. And now I can draw in reverse. Right? Let's turn it around again. Like a little elastic. And maybe with this piece we'll do that. So let's say let's say we wanted to add a bit of let's say we wanted to shake things up here, okay? Let's shake things up. So we got these little make a little bit of confetti, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of confetti in the picture. Like that. Really small. We're gonna make it very tiny. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a little bit of a shaky path. <laughs> See, I'm drawing this little purple line here. And now the brush is on this little shaky path. And all I have to do is make the stamp small, like this, so it's really small. And then I just hold my mouse down, and I'm drawing automatically drawing this shaky little paths, like that. And maybe we can even rotate the canvas at the same time. And as I'm rotating the canvas, I can paint too. And so the painting kind of becomes a little bit like, like sculpting in a way. All right, let's reset that brush. So that's that brush that we made here. And let's change the background color. So I can notice how I can rotate this brush around too. And if I was rotating the brush around like that, right, and I hold down, I can actually produce these cool patterns. And not only that, but if I rotate the canvas too, I can spin the canvas itself really fast, like that. And then if I were to draw with this brush, or let's say we bring in our friend here, this guy, and try to draw with him, we can use it to build these cool spiral shapes like this. And stop. Yeah, so that's kind of the picture that we made. I could go and then, I could go in there and then cut out these forms like this and use that to just create a simple stamp of a flower like that. Now we're going to create a new page, a new page my friends, and take our flower stamp and shrink it down 
and stick it there. But before we do that, let me all do green. Our little flower picture, right? Pick a different green there. And I just want to do a background like that. Now I'm going to reset that flower. And we'll scale down. Yeah. See, before I had a TikTok or anything, this is what I did. I thought of, I thought about new ways to draw on the computer and how fun computer drawing is. But I wanted to think of new clever interfaces for that. So we could go back to that original little stamp that we took a long time ago and use that to build the stem for the flower. We could even go back to this guy here and add him like that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for the little petals. So see how easily you can reuse all these different shapes and stuff? That's pretty cool, right? Anyway, so yeah, so that's called the Polygon Replicating Bitmap Authoring Tool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? You can even put the canvas on a path. <laughs> yep. So that's that. That's one of my software programs. Maybe I'll show you another one another day, actually. Um, ooh, draw my new whistle graph. You mean the one that we just did? The, uh, you mean this one here? I honestly forgot how it went, you guys. <laughs> I've been so busy with this, uh, with this drawing software stuff, I forgot. I'm sorry. It goes like, uh, I don't even, I honestly don't even remember. It's like, you, here is where you can put the key. Uh, behind the door is me. Something like that, you know what I mean? But I already forgot it. That's why it's like, you know, if I'm if I'm working on a whistle graph and then I change paces, if I don't actually record a video or write it down, then I'll forget. But yeah, I can always look back at my footage. That's why I did that, because I was like, all right, I want to dump that out of my brain. Let's work on something else. And so in my software demo craze of showing you all my software, uh, you know, in my craze software demo, I, I forgot the melody. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gonna have uh, the last sips of this coffee here. I should write it down after. Yeah, if I wrote down the lyrics, it would have been easier. Yum. That's some good coffee. Yeah, you know, I haven't been making many new whistle graphs lately. I've mostly been posting just these kind of funny, simple drawing videos. What do you guys think about that? I do want to make some new ones and record some new whistle graphs. But, uh, but yeah, I've just been exploring some other kinds of other fun things that I want to post just for fun. But I've been getting a lot of followers. I have 60,000 followers now, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I want to figure out what, what can I do to get some more followers. But I'm also just happy with the followers I have. <laughs> I'm really happy that you're all here. Here is where you... This is where you can put in the key. Yeah, this is where you can put in the key. Here is where you can in... Here is where you can put in the key. Here is where you can put in the key. Do, do, open up the door, it's me. Mm, you know, something like that. The whistle graphs are fun because they make you want to draw them. They're interactive. Yeah, I love them too, for that reason. Take your drawing time to listen to my whistle graphs and videos. You're super inspirational. Get the good doodle juices flowing. That's great. Hi, Titty Head slash Heather. What's my most viral video? Um, my most viral video right now is that one where I was like, guys, check out, it's the top three doodles in the USA. Doodle number one, doodle number two, and then the third one is when I inserted a whistle graph. You know what I mean? That's my most popular one. The one before that was uh, one that w went like this. It was like, sometimes I draw two eyes and a pink nose and a nervous mouth and then I stick it on to the people that I love. Yeah, it was the stairs whistle graph that I did for that. 
for that little video. Yep. It was the stairs one. Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to cause I'm too scared. Woo. Oh, thanks, Stray Uwu. That's great. Did you go back and check that for me? Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I, I got it now. Here is where you can put in the key. Do, do. Open up the door. It's me. <laughs> well, let's do let's Let's scale that in. Here is where you can put in the key do, do. open up the door it's me <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> that can almost work with the like what if it was like something what if it was like crazy like this you guys what if we do something like this here is where you can put in the key do, do. open up the door it's me would you like to come down the stairs i don't want to because i'm too scared Woo! you know what i mean what if we start to connect them wouldn't that be so cool imagine if we could have a whole picture like this one picture where you could just like do like 10 or 15 whistle graphs like in order <laughs> You know what I mean? And they all kind of connect. And it's like, what if we could do like a music video like that? Like a music video where we like come up with the different parts of the story. And they're kind of like independent whistle graphs. But then they kind of connect visually. And you can like just go around. You know what I mean? That would be so cool. Yeah, I should make a story out of the whistle graphs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That would be so fun. Yeah, we should totally do that. Or like a, create a, like a set of them that all kind of go together. You know? Yeah, that would be so awesome. It's great to come up with these kinds of ideas with everybody. So for those of you who don't know, the idea for this one actually just came from somebody. Well, they made one. They made one that was, uh, um, that looked like this. Eight in the box, grabbing seven up with a smile on his face. So it was supposed to be like, eight in a box, grab, grabbing seven out with a smile on his face. And so, you know, what I did was I looked at the image and I thought it was like a door with the, I actually thought this was like, you know, like a keyhole with a key trying to go in, and I thought about that a little bit. And then we kind of ended up with uh, this, where it's like, where the keyhole becomes the, the person, or something like that, that after you open up the door, basically. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, of course I can do that, Jacob. Well, 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 look who it is. Who is it? Crawling in the corner of the room. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool one. One more time. Let's get in there. I'll show you the, the cool way of doing this one. We're going to try to track the beat with it. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Crawling. In the corner of the room. <laughs> like that. Trying to get a little more style out of that one. You know, the funny thing about, see, look at the difference in style. Right? There's a bit of a difference. It's fun to kind of do the whistle graphs in style. Like, you could go like, well, well, well. Look who it is. Crawling in the corner of the room <laughs> see what i mean you can kind of you know if you if you if you guys are knowing any of them by heart you can switch up the style and that can kind of be fun you know i've been doing that a little bit lately because you know uh if, if it's like uh you know it's like penmanship like you know when i write a b 
C, I have a, that's one way of writing A, B, C, but you could also write it like A, B, C, that's another way of writing it, right? And then you can also write like that, like that, right? Or you could do like caps, you know, like that's another style. So just like how, you know, I feel like the whistle graphs are kind of cool because they're almost like fonts, right? Like everyone who almost if like if I do one and you do one and we both do the same one, then it's just like it's like different fonts, like handwriting. You know what I mean? And it's kind of cool how it's like we came up with these paintings. Basically, it's like a whistle graph is basically a painting, except anybody can do the painting. And it's also kind of like a, I don't know, a little bit like a mu video game or a music video. So, I don't know, there's a lot of interesting things about it to me, I think. Um, because we can memorize them and everyone can do them in a different way. But they kind of carry the same meaning, you know? It's kind of cool. Yeah, like the tone of your voice can change the style of your drawing too. Everyone's voice. We can also do a, a long one, like... Well, 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 look who it is crawling in the corner of the room. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can like stretch it out and stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of an interesting aspect to them, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, I, when I'm doing them, I, I sometimes when I'm developing them, stretch out things and think about that a little bit. Um, what's another one like? Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to, cause I'm too scared. <coughs> right? So you could stretch it out, or you could go if if more maybe you're more of a a widescreen kind of kind of guy, kind or kind of gal. Would you like to go down the stairs? I don't want to because I'm too scared. <laughs> right? So look, it's like with the same whistle graph, uh, you can get all these different funny variations. You know what I mean? It's pretty interesting. Let's try another variation on, on one of our <laughs> beloved whistle graphs here. We'll try a little bit of a curvy one. Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to because I'm too scared. Woo! Right, so we got a curvy variation. Yeah, maybe we could even cross them over. Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to because I'm too scared. <laughs> That's almost <laughs> I, that's almost a swastika. Sorry, you guys. I did not mean to do that. And it was very close. Getting dangerously close. You know, it's tough with those stairs. You know, as, as soon as you try to, uh oh, <gasps> we're out of ink. Oh, maybe that's bad news. We almost draw a swastika, and now we're out of ink. That's no good. That's no good. Look at our purple ink cartridge, is gone. Well, I'm sorry about that, everyone. But now that the ink cartridge is gone, and thinking about the fact that there's only two minutes left until the show is over, I think I'm just not going to replace this ink cartridge because it's about time for me to go. But I can kind of use it as a stamp here if I want to a little bit. And now we even ran out of stamp ink. Well, everybody. It was nice to hang out, and as always, I will see you tomorrow at the same time, same place. Say goodbye to our little Lego friend who now has a coffee stain on him. It is extremely gross, <laughs> so they're going to have to have a little bath later. Um, yeah, good night, everybody. Talk to you soon. Thanks for coming by. Goodbye, Stray Uwu. Goodbye, Carissa. Goodbye, Willow. Goodbye, Toilet Cat. Goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, I'm not gay, but... Goodbye, everybody. <sighs> See you later.